Now hey, good morning everybody. Betty's back. Today we're going to be doing Chipotle turkey meatballs with spaghetti. So if you give us a second I'll uh, show you the list of the ingredients. I'll show you the ingredients, not a list of, but yeah. Right, so we have obviously turkey mince, chipotle chili flakes. If you haven't got chipotle chili flakes you can just use chili flakes or if you don't want to put them in at all just leave them out but this is the recipe. Um, so that's obviously the meatballs, the oregano, some garlic granules, one small onion. Um, and for the rest of it, at least salt and pepper, smoked paprika, one carrot, some mustard sauce, two garlic cloves crushed, one onion, some tomato passata, 300 mils of chicken stock, which is just one chicken stock cube and about half a packet of this, about 200 grams or so of spaghetti. So, give a second I'll start cracking on with it. Right, so we're going to make the meatballs. So I've put the turkey mince in there. So we have one teaspoon of oregano to go in here. There we go. Teaspoon, half of the garlic granules, half a teaspoon, and half of the chipotle chili flakes. Oop. I can get them out like this. And these are quite potent, if I remember rightly. They're quite potent, them. If I remember right, and of course the onions, half a small onion in there. Sorry, a full onion, but a small one. So that goes over there. So basically now you get your hands in and you give it a damn good mix. Working it all in. Combined. Actually, I'll tell you what I have forgotten to put in there. Some salt and pepper. So, it wouldn't be me if I didn't forget something, would it? There's some salt. Two twists of that. And some pepper. Right, so I'm going to make about 20 smallish little meatballs out of this. So I will come back to you and I'll show you roughly the size of uh, what they are. Right, so that's roughly about the size you want for the meatballs. 20 of them in there and they will get fried off shortly. So I'm going to move on to doing the sauce now. Right, so I've just put some... Some uh, fry oil and some bit of olive oil in the bottom there. And I'm going to put in my onion. And the carrots which I've grated because I think it helps for it to cook quicker. Just grated the carrot rather than dice it up like you're supposed to and put it in. It just takes longer to cook for me. So there we go. So we're going to saute this now until the onion softens down for about four or five minutes. So I'll come back when that's uh, nearly done. Right, so those are softening down nicely. We're now going to add some more chipotle chili flakes. Again, 
about half a teaspoon maybe a little bit more there hey I'm gonna add my garlic in the two crushed cloves of garlic they're going in so get it all out oh garlic me like and I'm gonna add two teaspoons of smoked paprika well, it's not going to come out it's going to be awkward one two and a bit more so that's that in and just give it a mix I'm just going to stir this round what wow, smells lovely for about another minute just keep your eye on it wow. you can smell them chilies just knock the heat down to a, a bit lower but Oh, that smells lovely, that like. Ooh. Smells blooming lovely. It goes back in there. Smell the garlic coming off there. Ooh. Delish. Right. I'd say that's at about a minute. So now I'm going to add my passata. I'm going to have, add the whole lot. Ooh, that didn't sound very nice, did it? Right. And in next is the Worcester sauce about two tablespoons full so I'm just going to count this down one two and there we go and just give it a good a good old mix and uh, what else do we need in here oh yeah salt and pepper salt and pepper salt and pepper Season, bit of seasoning, has to be done. I love lots of pepper meat, so you just season to your taste basically. But I love, I like lots of pepper, so does Mand. So that's what we do. Like most recipes, I say, like I've always said. Adapt it to how you like it. If you don't want something in, leave it out. If you want something extra in that you like, put it in. Be ready to go. Lovely. So now I'm going to put the lid on and simmer this for about 20 minutes. So I'll come back when it's done. Right. So while that uh, sauce is cooking away, just on the back there, I put some oil, some spray oil. Over onto into the pan, about medium high heat again. I'm going to start to fry these meatballs off. So here we go. Lovely. Doesn't matter if some are slightly bigger than others. That's part of the rustic charm, isn't it? We're not professional chefs, we just home cooks. Push that one together a bit. Like that. Then you squish together. Okay. 
and they all are lovely jubilee. I'm going to wash my hands. Right, so we're going to cook these <coughs> roughly for about 10 minutes or until they're golden brown. Um, and just keep turning them over, give them a bit of love. So again, I'll uh, I'll carry on with that and come back to you when they're a bit more advanced. Right, typical Betty style. I always forget some. Uh, I forgot to put the stock into the sauce for God's sake. Amateur. So there we go. That goes into there. Do this there. I knew I'd forget some of that. Always do. So, yeah, that's that back. Lid back on. Meatballs are frying away. Some are slightly breaking up a little bit, but don't worry about that. It's fine. So, I'll come back when I've there uh, in about another five minutes or so. Right. So, there's about, about ten minutes now. They're nicely cooked, nicely brown, so I'm just going to turn that off for now. We're just waiting for the sauce. Um, the sauce is coming along nicely. And that's going to get, once it's cooled down, it's going to get blitzed. So, um, obviously these turkey meatballs, you, you can use other meats if you want to. Um, it's just we're trying to, well I'm trying to cut back a bit on the old <laughs> high fat and tons of stuff, so... I'm just trying to make it a bit more healthy, that's all. That's why I'm using turkey. So anyhow, I'll come back in a second when, uh, when I'm about to do the sauce. Right guys, so that's had actually just over 20 minutes um, cooking. As you can see, it's thickened up a little bit. And I've already had a sneak taste and it's lovely so now I've just got to wait until this is cooled right down and it will get blitzed so I'll come back when it's cooled down sufficiently right so that's cooled right down now so I'm going to use the stick blender to smooth it up it's going to be a nice, a nice smooth sauce well, it should be successfully managed to get some on my shirt. Well done Ian. <laughs> For God's sake. Right, I think it's just about there. Right, I think that will do. that's the sauce done so basically that's all I can do for this morning um, because the meatballs are going to be heated up tonight sauce is going to be added and it's just a matter of cooking the pasta and putting it all together so I'll see you later tonight when I finish work bye for now right back from work spaghetti's on Meatballs are in the sauce and warming up, so it won't be long. Probably about six or seven minutes from now, and it'll be done. Right, pasta's cooked. So I'm going to actually add the pasta into the sauce. Lovely. And then we'll give it a bit of a mix up. Tell you what, it smells bloody lovely. Oh, that'll do. 
It's feeling again now. <gasps> the wall is strike me down. Right. So let's give this a bit of a mix up. Yep, that's looking good. Now then, how do you think I should serve this? Or oh, best to pull it out with? I'd use the tongs. Tongs for the spaghetti, the spaghetti. or for the pasta. And then get a spoon for the rest of it. <coughs> Is that enough for you or do you want yeah, some more? Yeah, that's more than enough for me. Obviously there's going to be leftovers. A bit more pasta than that. I like a bit of pasta. Mm. Right. Turn that off. <coughs> On with the meatballs. Mm. Four, five. I'm going to have six turkey meatballs. Right. So all I'm going to do now is just create myself some. Get that bit of spaghetti that's hanging over the edge. That's it. I'm trying to escape. <laughs> create some parmesan over the top. Just to finish it off. And if I'd had some basil, I'd have probably put a bit of basil on there. But I don't. There we go. Right, that's that one done. I now need some meatballs for man's. How many would you like? Uh, three, please. One, two. Do you know what? Three. Get some sub rolls and make it. Oh, yeah, that would be some for lunch tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be lovely. Mm. Do you want your Parmesan on now? Yes, please. Say when? Go on, then. That'll do. <laughs> you I'm know what I've like with cheese. I'm going to have a bit more on that. <laughs> Right, bit of a mess, but hey. So you're not having your just yet, are you, Mrs? No, not yet. I'm, I'm not so finished. Did you get a shot of the uh, just for the thumbnail? Lovely. That'll do. Right, tasting time. Two seconds, just before you do that. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea, that actually. <laughs> I'm sick of trying to clean your white shirts. Because I know what I'm like. I could do with a massive bib. Yeah, you could have. If anybody wants to send me one. <laughs> <laughs> a man bib. A baby bib. Right, so I'm going to try one of these meatballs. Turkey meatballs, nice and healthy, bit of cheese and sauce. Mmm. What was it? But nice and light, obviously with it being turkey. Bit of spice there. Oh, it's the chipotle ones, isn't chipotle. it? Chipotle. Oh, nice. Just, it's not a blow your head off tingle, but there's a tingle. I'm going to get some of the pasta. It's not uh, spaghetti, is it? What's it called again, did you say? Uh, Bucatini. It was on the special ales in... Bucatini. But, in Aldi. Yeah. Spaghetti. Bucatini. <laughs> Right, it's mouth full. It's you for the rest of the night now. Mm. Mm. Mamma mia, that's good. Wow, nice, like I say, nice tingle off that sauce. Pasta's al dente, perfect. Meatballs are lovely. Bit of cheese on the top, the parmesan. Absolutely banging. Give it a go guys if you fancy uh, and if you want to please subscribe 
doesn't cost anything like and comment below and I will see you on Friday and I am going to be doing a Juicy Lucy burger yum 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 so we'll see you on Friday guys so have a good night and we're watching the football later so I'll see you guys on Friday dinner ladies back tomorrow bye for now see you later bye bye